Hey everyone, this is Billy Ray with Altera Central. Just going to do a recap here, looking at some tips and tricks over the X7. This is going to kind of pick up where we left off at on the last two videos that we went over. I'm um, just going to look at the different scan modes in the perspective software and also cover some registration assist tips with you guys. So with that, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, the first thing I want to do here is take a look at the Trimble X7 scan modes. You got two different scan modes, uh, standard and high sensitivity. Each of these have three duration scan times that you can work with. With the standard mode, you have a speed of 500,000 points per second, and you got scan times of two, four, and seven minutes. The high sensitivity, you got a speed of 166,000 points per second and scan times of 4, 7, and 15 minutes. The complexity and reflectivity of your project area is going to determine your scan mode and the duration of your scan. So as a tip, I'd make note of your project area when you're scoping and be mindful of your scan modes and scan durations when you're considering your point cloud density. So moving on, let's take a look at the X7's registration assist. Uh, here's some tips that'll help you throughout the project that you're working on. Uh, just remember to keep the scanner attached to the tripod when moving from one scan station to the next. This is going to help you speed up your processes quite a bit in the field. And the scanner should not be tilted more than 45 degrees. If you want to keep that IMU in line, don't tilt it over 45 degrees. Maintain a good overlap with the previous scans always to help that cloud to cloud registration in the field. And keep the distance between your scans or consecutive stations less than 20 meters apart. If your scan fails and you actually need to go back in between those scans, you can always come back and add a scan later in between your scan stations. Here's something that you're going to want to pay attention to. This uh, potentially could happen to you. It happened to me here. I uh, unintentionally left my settings to allow the scan to register to the previous scan. So here you can see where I left uh, 8 was supposed to register to number 7. That's the way I left the software. Actually 8 needs to be over here. So I should have had it linked to scan number 5. So what we're going to have to do is come in here and do a manual registration on this. So we'll just go ahead and work through this workflow here. I'll hit register. And you'll see that blue is going to be my moving station. And that I want to create my link to scan station number 5. So I'll set that as my reference station. And it makes the icon for number 5 bigger and 8 is also bigger than all of our rest of our scan stations. So what we'll do is we'll move scan station number 8 over in the area where we know that we took the scan at. You can do this just by simply touching your screen and dragging it over there. And then right here we can use our outer wheel, our outer blue wheel here and we can rotate this into place. I'm just kind of picking up my scan, overlaying it over my previous scan. And then what you want to do here is just go ahead and create that link and hit register. And that's how you do the manual registration. Okay, this is just going to be a real quick tip on how to clean up your project area when you're dealing with uh, large amounts of scans on your project area. Uh, you've got many, many scan stations and you just want to kind of clean it up and maybe see the last three scans that you've scanned or the last five scans that you've scanned. Uh, we'll come over here to our map settings and we will 
change this to display the most recent scans stations. So when I select this icon here, it will just display our last five scan stations that we have on our project. Those are our most recent scans. So if I want to come over here to my project settings, I can change that. And under general, scan display filter, let's say I want to drop that down to three. Go back, go back to our map display settings. Run that again. Now we're only dealing with our last three scan stations. You can change that however you want, however you want to clean up your um, drawing or your project. Um, you can have 10 or 15 and whatever works best for you to clean up your project area. Thanks for attending another Tech Talk with me, Billy Ray. Uh, if you need uh, additional tech support, go to alterocentral.com forward slash tech support.